Hey everybody, it's Ashley Needles. Um, today I found out that somebody who I just think is amazing has passed from this mortal coil. Um, <sighs> kind of sucked. I was planning on him teaching me how to do some stunt riding on uh, some horses. He's one of my favorite people. So alive, so filled with joy and laughter and in the moment, you know, and it wasn't like we spent a lot of time together or we kept in touch very well or anything, but he's definitely somebody who I truly, deeply admired and um, will be missed, very missed. He was young, too, about 10 years younger than I am. Um, <sighs> when somebody... When we lose somebody like that in this world, it's a tragedy. And it's hard. Because, like, some people are here, but they're not alive. And, and there's the people who are so alive, and they burn out so quick. Like an explosion, it just happens way too fast. And uh, Wyatt was one of those people. He, uh, he lived extremely in the moment filled with love and life and happiness and um <laughs> if he'd been a little bit of older i probably would have snapped him up if I, I probably would have chased that boy but he was a kid and just a little kid but so grown up and so adult and so caring and so giving um it's funny because i look at men my age and um they don't have that same je ne sais quoi whatever it is, that, that thing, and um, a lot of them, and uh, to see that burn out so quickly in somebody so amazing, it's hard. Um, to know that the world won't have that incredible pleasure of having him around. Um, but I cannot imagine what it is like for his family, especially his mother, who loved him to the depths of her bones, and his sisters, and his brother. Um, it makes me really think that everybody needs to live fully. Because when these people pass, we need to live by their example. Know that life is too short to sweat the small stuff, and we need to really care about those people in our lives. And it makes whatever petty grudges we have seem so small, stupid, and insignificant. There's this person that I woke up this morning and I was a little bit mad about how they had treated me because they hadn't treated me quite as well as I've treated them. And the um, problem is, is when I found out that Wyatt died, this person reminds me of Wyatt. So I just suddenly all the anger went away. Um, life is too short to hold on to anger at people. Um, you never know what is going to happen to somebody. And we need to treat everyone as if they are precious, as if they are a gift in our lives just for a short, beautiful, brief moment. And we need to treasure them and honor them and love them and all of that. Um, One of the things I love about social media is we can go back and look at a person's life and look at what they shared. and It's like a chronology of who they were. It's an edifice, um, an online edifice to people. Um, and so it's great that we're able to leave those things behind now. I post every day to my Facebook and things. I don't post videos daily, but I know someday I too shall be gone and hopefully I will have loved ones who those things can comfort. But if I'm not loved, then um, they'll go to waste, I guess. Um, but I try to be lovable. I think every person is lovable. We just have to find what's in them to love and see them as they are, as they were born to be. Because we are all just one point, just small little babies, you know? Full of every potential and every failure. And... Um, 
it's hard to let people pass from this life into the next and yet I know on the horizon of this life it lies some grand great adventure there is something beautiful waiting for us in the dark when our eyes close and uh, that gives me comfort um, I do not believe that this mortal coil is it my flesh may pass, but my spirit will remain. Um, and I believe that's true for everyone. Our flesh passes, but our spirit remains. I still talk to Art occasionally. Um, he's somebody who I loved who passed on. I had a roommate who died too. And as time moves on, we forget how brief this moment is that we have here on Earth. We worry about things like money and bills and what not. And we don't take every moment to enjoy it. When I had something serious going on with me and I wondered if I were to die, the things I would miss, and I thought about it. And it was weird because one of the things I realized I would miss, and I haven't even had it in years, is this strawberry soda pop that my dad got me when I was little. And I've only had it a few times. I think three or four in my life, but to never taste that again. Not that I ever will because um, of my food allergies, but there's little things that I started thinking about that I enjoy about this life. Little, little tiny things. I started thinking about them because I was in a situation that was bad, um, and I started thinking about the things that I would miss. And I made peace with my death. I made peace that, you know this thing seemed, that seemed inevitable was going to happen. And I became very okay with it. Uh, now it's gone. My fate has been passed to another person and, um, or maybe not, maybe that person is different enough for me that they can uh, alter that course for themselves. Um, and it seems like they are, so I wish them the best in that. Um, I am happy to be alive. Eat chocolate, macaroni, spend time with people I care about. But they don't have yet to mourn my passing. I've been to the point of thinking about suicide times in my life. Letting this life go and changing it for the horizon. For whatever lays on the horizon early. But the cruelty that that would put upon my loved ones was not something I could bear. Um, just no matter how hard my life was, I could not inflict that agony on anyone else. And even in that agony, I still found joy. Even in my darkest hours, I still know that there are things worth fighting for, living for. I mean, if you just think about how enjoyable breathing is after, you know, you've been underwater or, you know, held your breath, the very breath, air we breathe is precious and significant. And sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we forget how significant those things are. Um, so I'm going to look at something for a minute. Um, so Wyatt sent these messages to people before he died, he put, that's why I'm glad it's not dependent on us. 
because we will always fail. The work of Christ through us is, on, is the only thing we have. It's just about denying ourselves and submitting to him. I struggle with denying myself as well. Um, Looking at as well, trying to find some other things, but yeah, it's funny. I kind of feel like I'm the last to know. Um, I guess it happened yesterday, or did it happen sooner? Looking for the time of his passing. People put this one's for Wyatt Carter. I'm glad I had the opportunity to know such a good person. They're holding a thing. Um, Wyatt did stunt riding and stuff on horses and in movies. and He was just somebody... You were always glad to be around him. And I want to be somebody like that. I want to be a person who people are glad to be around. Who is filled with life and love of life. Treasuring it every moment. We must submit ourselves. Submit ourselves to living in the moment. Submit ourselves to the willpower of a higher being, something outside of ourselves, whether you believe in Christ or Asherah or Elohim or, you know, there's so many different names for deity. Whatever deity you believe in, Buddha, you know, um, whatever, doesn't matter. Submit yourself to the greater good, to the greater beauty that's out there. There's a certain perfection in that, a certain joy that comes in that. I want to live a life of beauty and joy and in the moment and fresh and give to others the way he did. Because he always gave. Um, anyway, you know, it's funny, I don't have the money to pay my rent right now, or my lawyers. My husband doesn't exactly... I'm going through a divorce and obligations have not been kept. Um, and so I have stress in my life right now, a lot of it. And yet, letting that take away even a moment of my joy, I think, is a sin. We are here to be joyful and to embrace the life within us. Every moment in this place is a gift. 
an incredibly beautiful gift. Incredibly beautiful gift. I can't even talk right now. Not to live in joy. I've struggled my whole life with depression. And when I find those people who have that joy that I sometimes feel when I'm not letting the monkeys on my back tear it away, I find myself incredibly awed by them and attracted to them, and I find them powerful. And Wyatt was one of those people. Art was one of those people. Toledo was one of those people. And I know more of them that are still here. Sam Drew, Remington Raphael, uh, Raphael, um, Victoria, uh, there's more, uh, Michelle Carter, you have that. There are people here that live abundantly every moment passionately, madly sometimes I'm too up here and not enough in here I think too much and feel too little sometimes and other times I feel too much I think but I hate to think that feeling anything would be too much. I've always believed that feelings are somehow the most sacred part of ourselves. Um, and then I see my dog, Messy. How excited she is just to see me. How good that makes me feel. And I want to be that excited to be with people. My heart that open, my heart that true. To be that passionate about waking up every single day. Because I woke up, I have yet another day to live. What a beautiful gift that is. A day that's filled with the possibilities of doing anything I want in it. I could eat, I could starve myself, I could go to the gym, I could spend time with somebody I care about, I could ride a roller coaster, I could spend all my money at a gambling table. Most of those things I'll never do. I don't gamble, I don't drink till I drop. Um, and most every day I choose to eat because I like it. I love to eat. Food is awesome. Death comes to all of us and is waiting for all of us. That's why we need to live. Live while death waits. Make death wait while you're excited. Anyway, that's about all I had to say. I have to go, but um, I just wanted you to know that life is amazing. You are amazing. You are a gift to those who love you. A precious, undeniable, incredible gift. Because they're a gift to you. Honor them, treasure them, love them. Take a moment to think about all the things you would miss if you were never to see them again. You know, the other day, I woke up in the morning and started realizing there was this guy I was starting to like. Um, and today I got told that I need to put all my relationships, as far as romance goes, on hold um, for what I'm trying to do with my life, my goals and things. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'm strong enough to ever do that, or if that it's worth that. Anything I want to do, if it's worth sacrificing relationships for, 
because to me relationships have always been my most important thing in my life, my most valuable thing, the thing I treasure most. As a woman, we tend to define ourselves by our relationships, whether it's our relationship with our shoes or our friends, we tend to define ourselves by our relationships. The other day, a guy told me he was his car, he is what he dri drives. And today, tend to define themselves by their um, possessions. I think we should define ourselves by what we choose each day. Do you choose to be brave and face your fears? Do you choose to love openly and with joy? What do you choose each day? Define yourself by your choices and your actions and your thoughts and your emotions. And do not let small things worry you. For you are greater than them. You are greater than this life or any moment in this life. No matter how hard things are, you are greatness. No matter what you're suffering, I hope that you can take a moment each day and just realize how precious the air you breathe is. And be grateful. And be happy. And enjoy this precious time. And treasure those you love. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, again, have some place to go. <laughs>